Hey everybody, Captain Jim Palmer here, the Dream Business Coach, coming to you from the bridge of my floating home. It's good to be floating when you live in a boat. <laughs> Do you know what the number one way, the number one way to increase your profits, the number one way, the fastest way to higher profits, which was the title of my third book? Who has a guess? Guess what? <clears throat> I'm going to tell it to you right now. The number one, the fastest way to higher profits in your business is, drum roll, raise your prices. Isn't that unique? Well, think about it. How many people say, oh, I just wish I could earn, I wish I could earn what I'm worth. How many, how many people out there, entrepreneurs, oh, I wish I could earn what I'm worth. Well, go ahead and do it. You know, the funny thing is, uh, the reason I was going to tell you this story is I uh, was doing a private consult yesterday with somebody who does um, client work, works individually with clients. <clears throat> and I said, what do, you, what do you charge for a session? I'm not gonna say what, what he does, but he says, uh, $147 a session. I said, how long have you been at that rate? He said, three years. I said, why? And, um, and I, the other thing, the next question I asked him is, do you get any pushback? In other words, you, somebody says, hey, do you do this? Yes, what's it, what, blah, 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 and what's your price, 147? They say, okay, let's go. If you are not getting pushback, your prices are too low and you're leaving money on the table. <clears throat> so let's do a little quick math, all right? This is gonna be a huge challenge for me, but let's say this gentleman at $147 a session had 100 clients. And I don't know what period of time, but let's say 100 clients at $147 a session. That's a gross, that's gross revenue of $14,700. If you simply raise it to 197, that is an increase of $5,000 in gross profit. Think of it, you see the same number of clients, but simply by going from 147 to 197, you're gonna earn $5,000 more. Now that $5,000 in increased gross profit is the equivalent of approximately 30 to 35 more clients. Think about that, you see the same number of people and you earn $5,000 more just by boosting your prices up. Oh, Jim, I can't do that. I'm afraid. I'm a commodity. People are not going to pay. I bet they will, and you don't even know because you're too chicken to do it. So I want to encourage you to raise your prices. Let's say you got a business. You're grossing 100. Let's say you're grossing six figures. You're doing $100,000 a year. All right? If you simply increase your gross profit, whatever you're charging kind of across the board, if you got different items, whatever, some might go up 10%, some might go up more, some might go up one or 2%, who cares? Let's say the average is a 5%, you get 5% increase in your gross profit and you gross $100,000, you too just added $5,000 right to the bottom line. Five grand, same number of sales, same number of transactions, you take home $5,000 more. If you gross $250,000 and you increase your, your gross profit by 5%, guess what? You now have $12,500 more on the bottom line, which the bottom line is what? That's what you have to, I, I just posted on Facebook, uh, gross is for vanity, net's for sanity. Net is what you live on. Net is what you grow your business on. Net is what you have to reinvest, to share, to give back, to donate, whatever. It's all about the net, right? So imagine just doing a quarter million dollars and you increase your gross profit by a mere 5%. And I'm, most of my clients go much higher than that, but just a mere 5% so you can kind of start to gather and, and fathom this. That's $12,500 more in gross profit, the same number of transactions. A couple more ways you can do that. Um, I have one of my VIP coaching clients who does um, initial consults. Initial consults is one way, like, this person is not in the insurance business, but think of how many industries, how many niches do initial consultations in the insurance of, oh, we'll do an initial review, we'll do an audit, and then somebody else in the um, advertising field might do a different way. But in some way, shape, or form, you do an initial something as a way to gain entrance and do a conversation, and then hopefully they say yes. I say stop doing that. You can do it, but charge for it. Why in the world would you go spend a half a day or two hours or an hour and, and give people your ideas and everything unless there's a charge? One of the ways to make it more palatable, I guess, even for you, the entrepreneur, is if you're going to charge for it and then a further transaction takes place, they're going to hire you for a period of time, maybe you roll that into the fee. You don't have to do that, but if it's easier for you to to think about and um, actually do it, take action, swallow that idea, then go ahead and do that. But my client who um, who uh, is doing 
well, I'm not going to say what, but she was doing um, initial consoles, and I said, from now on, you're going to charge, you're going to charge twenty five hundred dollars for initial console. Jim, I don't know. I said, just try it, and she has never looked back. She now charges two hundred fifty dollars. So sorry, twenty five hundred dollars for initial console. You know what else was the, the real kicker for this and. This, this client is so so happy, I'll tell you. But the thing is, when they pay $2,500 up front, you have removed most of the price resistance because they're paying for the value that you're, that you're delivering. And after the, after the initial consult, you say, okay, here's what we have, here's where you are, here's where I see areas of improvement, here's what we can do. Boom, you're off to the races and they're gonna hire you. But if you're just doing it for free, like every other person who's scrounging for clients, you are gonna have price resistance and you're gonna be just swimming in that pool of people who are, who are clamoring. So charge what you're worth. You know what the big key to charging what you're worth is? Having the stones to do it, all right? <laughs> to step up and charge what you're worth. Deliver incredible value, but charge what you're worth. So that is chapter one, my third book, the third book I wrote was called The Fastest Way to Higher Profits, and I think there was 23, let me see if I can remember the title, 23 Immediate Profit Enhancing Strategies You Can Use Today. There you go. And that was chapter one, is raise your prices. I told you the story, I think about a week ago, when, um, oh, I know what it was. It was, uh, I give up, I can't take the name calling anymore. That video, if you remember that one, somebody took me to task. That That's not what your story was about. Oh, which thing I'm actually quitting. But anyway, so in that story is how I gained about 40 to 45 more members in No Hassle Newsletters because I said I can't take the name calling anymore. I'm raising my prices and I not only raised them, I doubled them. Back then in, um, when would that have been? 2010 or 11, I was 47 and 97 for No Hassle Newsletters, depending, and I went from there, I doubled it to 97 and 197, never looked back, instantly doubled the gross profit from the same number of, of people that were doing business with me, and it never slowed down my growth. I'm telling you, there's a thing called price elasticity. There are people that will pay good money assuming everything else that I, that I teach and that you should be doing with the positioning, the branding, the marketing, everything that I'm teaching about the million dollar platform, which I will be teaching again at Dream Business Academy, that if all that's in place, you can absolutely charge more and you're worth it. So that's the lesson for today. <clears throat> if you wanna learn more about the million dollar platform and, and probably about 88 other things like this, then you want to get one of the last seven seats at Dream Business Academy San Diego. That is September 26th, 27th, 28th in, guess what, San Diego. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful facility right on the marina. I negotiated a great rate, although the room block is quickly filling up. Again, we have only seven seats left. I am so excited, folks. Usually, I always sell out these events, but it usually is in the last two to three weeks when some a lot of the local people make quick decisions. I tell you, by September 1st, almost 30 days before the event, I will be sold out. We only have three of the upgraded tickets left. The only upgrade to this event, because I cover everything, <clears throat> is if you want to come on our post-event Friday sunset cruise. I have chartered a 60-foot catamaran. We're gonna, we sail for three hours around San Diego. And uh, I cater a nice meal. Usually bring in a nice Mexican spread. Yeah, I do serve some adult beverages. I always treat you well at my events. That's the only upgrade, but this 60-foot catamaran has a limit of, um, I believe, 48 people. And so far, I think 45 people have taken the upgrade. So there's only three more of those, and that's a hard stop. So the rest of the people who, who uh, want to go on the boat ride, they'll be waving at the dock. <laughs> so make a quick decision, September 26, 27, 28. Get one of your tickets, one of the last seven tickets. And by the way, you need to know I'm a straight shooter if you don't know that already. This is not some pie in the sky number and guess what? Oh, we we moved a poll. We can now add six more seats. This is a room that holds X number of people. I think it's 60. The restaurant that I take you to on Thursday night on me holds 60 people. That is a hard number. When these seven seats are gone, that's it. So dreambusinessacademy.com. If we're not yet connected uh, on my free Facebook group, that's dreambizgroup.com, dreambizgroup.com. Uh, free training Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, I'm bringing one of my uh, VIP clients who is a speaker at Dream Business Academy, One Click Lindsay Anderson, talking about more traffic and leads. That's tomorrow. That happens 
I broadcast that live into the um, Build Your Dream Business Now Facebook group. I think that's it. Raise your prices for heaven's sakes. It's the easiest way to add more net, more bottom line income to your business and ultimately to you is to simply raise your prices. Yes, we're going to help you get more clients, more patients, more customers, etc. But increase your fees, same number of people, bigger bottom line. All right, I am Captain Jim Palmer, the Dream Business Coach. Hope you have an awesome day. I no doubt we'll be back tomorrow morning with another uh, hopefully inspiring lesson on how to build your dream business so you too can live your dream lifestyle. You have an awesome day. Hey, take good care.